This video has been done for educational purposes only. Okay, so here we have 5 grams of 7% CBD gelato mix and to start I've decided to grind the in a coffee grinder. This will open up the and increase our yield. Okay, so here's some cool info I found. Despite having quite similar structure, CBD and THC produce way different effects. While CBD is generally used as a medicine, THC is used to get What is fascinating for me as a chemist but would probably bore you is that the only difference between the two molecules is this one carbon and three hydrogens. After the has been shredded, it became some kind of a paste. That's because there's a bunch of junk like oils and fats. Like you know, even though it's a f**k can a plant. So the wheat paste was as a beaker, and now we're making a f extract. This is pure spirit, and it will extract some of the fats, oils and hopefully CBD. There was an attempt at getting the plant matter of the beaker walls, however I failed miserably. The solution was then left for an hour to soak. Ok, let's set up a filtration apparatus. The solution was poured through the 3 times stacked toilet paper. This step is done to remove the solid junk from the extract. This is the extract and I must say, it actually has a really nice green color. The extract was then poured into a boiling flask. Then I've assembled a distillation apparatus, so the heat comes coming and it doesn't stop coming, fed to the flask and the solvent starts running. Finally, this is what's left in the flask and has some nasty green oil at the bottom. Ok, to prevent things from getting confusing, I will explain this step thoroughly. This step is based on chromatography. On this drawing there's a funnel, some sand at the bottom and on top of the sand is a buffer solution. This buffer solution will start slowly dripping through the funnel and to this buffer solution we will add the extract and soon enough the molecules from the extract will start going through the sand. Because some molecules travel faster and some slower, especially in sand, we should get a good enough separation of the CBD and the other unwanted junk, possibly to a point where we can even extract the pure product. So to try this in practice I've added the buffer solution. However, it was dripping way too fast, so I've had to improvise. Ok, here we go. After the filtration was started, the vacuum was turned on. CBD is actually colorless, so there's going to be some kind of an impurity. The solution was put through a few more times and now we're ready to evaporate the solvent. Just to remove any possible impurities, it was then filtered. Anyway, it was then put on a hot plate, where the solvent was evaporated. Next, it was put into a freezer for a while to make sure the CBD crystallized out. Ok, I know this is a long shot, but after I finished filming, I've tried heating it to dryness. However, there was barely anything left, so it's possible that CBD is still the crust on the walls of the beaker, but just heavily colored or most of it is still in the sand. Sadly, I can't really tell you, because the 5 grams of it has 7% of CBD, which, if you're talking weight-wise, is 0.35 grams. Which is not a lot, so I think that my theory about the crust on the walls being the cannabinoid is most likely true. Still though, it has a bunch of impurities and it looks like sh- Although, if you want me to try it again with more it, make sure to leave a comment and possibly subscribe.